All right, so I'm gonna record what it would look like if you were zooming from your laptop or PC on your end and then what your parent or child would see on their end when you're doing the boom cards and giving them control. So the first thing we would do here is share our screen. My dog is gonna make a bunch of noise in the back. We'll go to boom cards here, open it up. Okay. And so at home, your child, uh, your student and their parent are gonna see this screen here. So what I'll do is just say, okay, we're gonna do our second grade assessment. Let's begin, push next. Which is a number? Okay, I'm gonna give you control. So what we'll do is go up here. It'll drop down. We'll go to remote control and click over to our student. Now what you'll see on the top there it says it's waiting for me to control the screen. So it'll say waiting for whoever your student is to control the screen. Now what the student will see at home on their iPad is a little mouse appears. They have to tap that mouse before they can control it. If they push over here, nothing's gonna happen. So they're gonna touch the little mouse and you'll see a little mouse appears on their screen. At that point on your screen, it says that I am now controlling that screen. Okay. So which is the number? At this point, they're just gonna reach up and touch. Okay, this one says, place one bear in each section. Now, when I try to put my finger on the bear and move it, nothing necessarily happens. The mouse is still over there. So this is where your parents are gonna have a little trouble. You can explain to them that they need to move the mouse over, hold the mouse down, and then drag. You're gonna move the mouse over, hold the mouse down for a couple seconds. Drag didn't work, okay? So let's try again, bring that mouse back down. Hold the mouse for a couple seconds. Drag up. There we go. Takes a second. You can see that the arrow and the mouse are not necessarily the same point. The arrow is what is actually gonna be pointing at. So if we're up here and we try to do it, see how the arrow is no longer on the bear even though the mouse is? We try to click it and drag, not gonna work. Okay, so sometimes if the arrow is on the bear, the mouse may not be, but that's okay. We're gonna hold the mouse, drag up, and the bear will go. So what you need to explain to parents is it's where the arrow or sometimes it's a little cursor. That is what is supposed to be pointing at the object, but their finger needs to be on the mouse, not the arrow, to move it. Okay. So we'll skip that. We got a set of three. These questions are much easier when it's just pick one because all you got to do, give it a little touch. It's going to record that. Take apart. Again, we need to move that arrow over. So we'll touch over there. Now with the cursor, even though the mouse is on the third block, the cursor is on the second block. So when I hold the mouse down for a couple seconds and I move, that second block is gonna move. All right, now if I was over here as a teacher, I move in, I click something. When I click something, you'll see now it says waiting for, for me to control the screen again. Back here on the student computer, as soon as you click something as a teacher, the student and the parent are gonna have to re-tap the mouse to gain control again. Right now, nothing's happening. I gotta re-tap that mouse. You'll see when I re-tap that mouse, it says I'm now controlling the screen. So anyway, that's a quick synopsis of what it looks like on the teacher's end and what it looks like for the student and the parent end.